Are you fed up with old school internet providers' hefty prices, crappy and unreliable internet speeds? Are Comcast and Verizon on the verge of being disrupted and going out of business? There is a new player in town who can significantly alter the game though. I'd like to introduce Starlink a satellite internet service provider from SpaceX that seeks to bring high-speed internet to every corner on Earth. In this video, we'll examine Starlink's rivalry with Comcast in more detail and discuss what it implies for the development of internet access. We'll get into the specifics and examine the possible effects of this innovative new technology. So, if you're eager to learn whether Starlink will be the paradigm-shifting technology we've all been waiting for, keep watching! Hello and welcome to our video on how the reign of old school telecom providers such as Comcast and Verizon could burn to ashes by Elon Musk's new venture into the internet provider sector called Starlink. World famous for not only disrupting relationships, but also industries and businesses, Elon Musk decided a few years ago to leverage his footprint in the aerospace sector to start a satellite internet provider service. We all know this powerful serial entrepreneur and business mogul for developing and running organizations such as SpaceX, Tesla, Neuralink, and The Boring Company. Additionally, he was one of the founding fathers of PayPal, which was ultimately purchased by eBay and left him swimming in gold and diamonds. Starlink started a SpaceX small satellite internet project that seeks to use a network of low-Earth orbit satellites to deliver high-speed internet connectivity to rural and underserved locations. With hundreds of satellites already flying in orbit and thousands more planned, Starlink satellite network is now undergoing an early rollout. SpaceX claims that the network can deliver internet speeds of up to 100 megabytes per second with a 20 millisecond latency, which is the equivalent to the speeds and latency of conventional cable and fiber optic internet, the fastest internet available for general public. You might be asking why Comcast, Verizon, and other significant telecommunications firm have called emergency meetings regarding their concerns about Starlink at this point. After all, rather than in telecom, SpaceX is best recognized for its efforts in the aerospace sector. But it's crucial to keep in mind that Musk is known for having disrupting ideas and having a big fat wallet. And with Starlink, he is essentially attempting to build a new satellite-based internet network empire capable of providing access to millions of people who do not currently have it or who are fed up with their service and want something else. It's hardly surprising that organizations like Comcast and Verizon are keeping an eye on Starlink given the possibility that it might seriously disrupt the existing broadband industry. According to a report from the FCC, nearly 24 million Americans lack access to high-speed internet, and many of them reside in rural regions where it is challenging and expensive to install fiber optic cable. Starlink specifically wants to enter the industry by helping this underserved market niche. Starlink may be able to offer internet connection to ships, aircraft, and other moving vehicles in addition to rural and underserved areas the ability to stay connected even in the middle of the ocean or on top of Mount Everest may transform the way people communicate and they will always be connected. So our common excuse for not picking up our phones when Aunt Bertha calls by saying, we didn't have connection, might soon be gone. Uh oh. Now you might be wondering, what about the price though? Isn't Starlink's internet service going to be too pricey? Well, according to SpaceX, the business intends to charge around $99 per month for Starlink's internet service, plus a one-time fee of $499 for the hardware required to access the internet. Well, this may sound pricey, it's crucial to keep in mind that many individuals in rural regions pay considerably more for a very slow and very unreliable satellite internet service. The service provided by Starlink could completely alter their situation. As mentioned before, Starlink's initial strategy was to serve those out of the grid, but what will stop people who are within the grid but are unhappy or tired of it and would like to ditch Comcast and get Starlink. Installation is a piece of cake as you just have to screw the antenna to your roof and download Starlink's app to get started. We foresee a lot of unhappy customers switching to this new service and Starlink gaining a significant market share of the internet service provider sector globally. We'll have to see if Starlink has enough satellites to allow us all to stream the new season of the Kardashian show at the same time without video lagging. It 
is important to remember that Starlink is still in the early phases of development, so its prospects for success are still uncertain. In order to completely deploy the network, SpaceX will need to overcome a number of technical and legal obstacles. However, if Starlink is a success, it will completely turn the telecommunications sector upside down, and many of the telecom giants will fall. In conclusion, we believe that Starlink could completely change the game of how we access the internet. It's affordable, fast internet service might make it a competitive alternative to any well-established internet providing companies such as Comcast. Having said that, Starlink will compete with not only US-based Comcast and Verizon, but with every internet provider worldwide, as Elon will provide internet access to every corner of the Earth. So, if Elon manages to get this right, he will dethrone many of the well-established internet powerhouses and perhaps will control internet access globally at some point. Is it too late for our current internet providers to start a similar strategy and launch their own satellites to be able to compete in this new satellite internet provider gig? Only time will tell. While it's too early to know if Starlink will be able to accomplish its objectives, it's unquestionably a project worth keeping an eye on in the years to come. Thank you for watching. If you genuinely enjoyed the video, then don't be shy. Hit the like button and comment down below. Our goal with this channel has been to create entertaining documentary style videos on business finance and life in general. And if that sounds like something you'd be interested in and you'd want to tune in for more, hit the subscribe.